Hello YouTube, Jonathan 800 here. So today I will be showing you the nations that you should uh, play and should avoid when you're just starting out the game. So this, despite me having all the DLCs, I'm going to show this as if you own none. So you always played a 1936 scenario. No one plays 1939. Problem with 1939 is that the game is set up to be like an Axis victory from the start. Sure, if you play a little, you can make it not, but it also doesn't teach you the game. It just lets you start fighting, which has its merits, but also not. So here's the country you start with. Uh, it's a lot better than before when it used to only be Poland, but when it comes to majors, I am not sure if I would recommend starting as a major anymore. Many people would. I still kind of suggest you play as a major, but that might be too much for some people. But if you really want to, Germany is the easiest major to play. Uh, the problem is, is that many people struggle because they don't know basic game mechanics. But otherwise, Germany is the easiest to play for the reason that it's the it, yeah it's the main character of the game basically or protagonist if you go into the real uh terminology so germany it has a decent focus tree uh, that's controversial it's not the best i would still say it's the box standard Basically, you get access to everything you need. More land, you got it. Really great industry focuses. Like, there's uh, six sieves right there. Another six. Research slot. Two year ahead of time penalty reduction for medium tanks. Without no step back, this is important because... Otherwise, you got a 1939 tech that you have to research, and this is a, uh, with no setback, it's 1938, this is 1939. With, uh, Treaty of USSR, you made it a 1937 tech. This, this is, uh, very important as you will be fighting the allies who only have lights, and if they do not have, uh, an intelligence agency with a lot of resistance, they can't steal it from you, so that is really good. Uh, basically, you get access to all of your stuff. Germany just is able to fight how it wants, when it wants, and yeah, that's why I would say it's the uh, best uh, major to start playing as. The next major is the United States. For the sheer fact, you are an oceans away from dying. You play France, Germany's gonna come knocking through with all of your debuffs, you are probably gonna get destroyed instantly. Soviet Union, same thing, you start with a lot of debuffs, you have an even bigger front, bigger army to work with, you'll probably get rolled. When I first, when No Step Back first came out, I also kinda got rolled as the Soviets, so, yeah. It will take some practice uh, starting as majors to understand what you're doing. But let's go into the countries that I do suggest. Minor countries. These may be more boring to play as, but they will help you learn game mechanics, which is the most important thing. For me, it was Romania. Let's just tag Romania. Now, Romania is in the situation where it actually gets eaten by your allies. You'll lose northern Transylvania, southern Dobrugia, Bessarabia uh, on historical if you go down uh, Preserve Greater Romania. This is historical. You can uh, do all your fun things there. But this is where the fun is. Balkan Dominance. Bulgaria can't steal your land if they're your puppet. Hungary can't steal your land if they are your puppet. This will also teach you warfare against someone that isn't a major country. 
So it's like, oh, Bulgaria, they have, uh, they don't have army restrictions, they don't have Battle for the Bosphorus. Uh, so basically, you can just attack and evade all of your neighbors, become stronger that way, and the only threat you have is Bessarabia. But usually you are strong enough where you can just hold. If you build a force on the border, you can hold. Let's say you go down a flexible foreign policy. You don't necessarily have to play for a death or dishonor or cake, uh, cake achievement, whatever it's called. You can just do flexible foreign policy. And this gives you access to, uh, what is it? Uh, flipping ideology. Semi-historical if you want Balkan dominance with a uh, pro-axis government. You can choose between uh, core territory or uh, consumer goods. Uh, because you're new, consumer goods are very important. Because it tells you how many factories you can build. See how I'm only building 6? This is because 32% uh, of our total factory count is dedicated to... Uh, is making our civilian factories uh be wasted not in their s well yeah basically wasted so Romania also starts at the starting army though it's under equipped you can always re-equip it and then you have a decent starting uh infantry template all it needs is support anti-air and then you got a really good holding division this is garbage, but you can always improve it. The point is, you are to learn basic game mechanics by playing these nations. If you want another semi-easy time, play Historical Hungary. This might be pretty boring. Their focus tree is not great. But the thing is, you'll be given a lot of free stuff before you join the war. You'll get Southern Slovakia. Uh, Northern Transylvania. If you really push it, maybe all of Transylvania. But that's extremely un unlikely. Uh, Vojvodina. And Vanat. You, uh, could possibly get when, uh, you take out Yugoslavia. Basically, you play these countries as support countries. So you can really, sp uh, sp specialize. There we go. You can specialize to what you want. Usually you want to do a tank miner. Would I recommend that initially? Probably not. I do recommend you uh, learn templates before you start playing, but... Yeah, sometimes trial and error is more fun. Hmm. Yeah, I guess license is a part of base game now. Alright, so... Hungary's pretty good. But let's say you don't want to be the bad guys. Welcome to Canada. Canada has received a lot of content recently. So despite being one of the older focus trees in the game, it actually got improved decently. You no longer have a mutually exclusive focus between uh, fixing your industry and uh, fixing your manpower issues. So, you got... Okay, you are locked behind world tension. But, decent industry tree. And, uh, historical can give you a lot of resources. Uh, alt history can give you a, uh, mediocre. But, but, either way, uh, guess a pretty good buffs. Uh, you are protected by an ocean, so that's pretty good. The AI will deal with Navy for you. Everyone hates, uh, working with Navy initially. Otherwise, uh... Uh, you'll learn Navy by playing the United States. Your Navy is large enough to where you can take losses. Or I should say your Navy and industry is enough to where you can possibly take some losses and recover. So basically, to sum it all up, uh, these countries are the ones that I recommend to start with if you have no DLC. And yeah. Once you uh, get the hang of the game, you can try to branch out and explore other countries to play as, where there is a lot of fun to be had. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. You know the deal. And this is Jonathan Day 100 signing out.